My name is Asha. Long ago, I was supposed to be a knight. One of the armored fools of the king. Marching around on land instead of sea bound. And then, their march started. The king on everyone. They began to train peasants as soldiers, for it was the beginning of the end of the world. Of course, I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure. I think I'd know the end of the world when I saw it. A plague swept through the north. First there was rioting, and then silence. And then the cold march began. At first, people thought that the North had gotten better. The plague was done, a cure had been found. The king was of the opinion that it had never been anything to worry about at all. And the opinion of kings was, as custom, wrong. No, the dead had begun to walk. Their skin stained white with snow, and their frozen bodies shambled south, until the warmth allowed them to move more lively. The king's alchemists do not know why rotting corpses continue to move. We suspect it's a blood curse unearthed from some lonely tomb in the north. Magic's existence and the question therein has long baffled the thinkers of the kingdom, but now this proves that forces we don't understand do exist, and there are things that even a king cannot control. It is spring now. I can smell the odd scent of flowering trees on the wind. Attacks began shortly after the dead first made their way to the warmest villages in the north. Those already skeletonized were safe. They were about all who were safe. Until winter comes and freezes these corpses again, I have been hiding. Winter was ending when they first attacked. As I said, it's the end of springtime. My kingdom has had a bad history with many others. Exploring other islands for its own gain, and drawing out any natives for the king's own coffers. But even we didn't deserve this. I wish to write this because I feel as though I must leave some sort of record. I feel as though I'm screaming into a void, shouting at walls. I was a squire once. I even hesitate to write those words. My life is an oddity. It was expected that I would live as my brothers, fathers, and forebears did, life in service of the crowns on the sea. But then the plague hit. I was a knight instead of a sailor. Life became chaotic. I fought the dead. Everything seems impossible. Perhaps I should start over. My name is Asher, former squire, almost a knight. It is spring of the year 587. As I write this, I suspect myself to be not long for this earth. The lights in this library grow dim, and I have little hope in my ability to bandage a wound. I have just been struck over the head by a bookshelf, one toppled over onto me by one of these walking corpses. This one, this library in particular, rather, was the local library. I struck up an odd friendship with a librarian four years ago when I first learned to read. I had to learn to read when I became a squire. I was twelve then. I'm sixteen now. It was four years ago. I am Asher. I am Asher. All I can hear is my elder brother trying to find something to help me. After I was struck dumb, I noticed a feather pen at the well of ink not yet dry. I pulled the nearest book to me, and I opened it, and I decided to write. My master's always told me that in times of strife, it's the most important thing to hold on to the things you fear you may lose. 
I fear I may lose my wit, my mind, and my dexterity, my language. If I die, I'll become one of the shambling corpses who walk like men. Damn the North. Damn their relics and their shrines. I fear this may be the last thing I ever write. I will leave it here in the library to dry. If I escape, I shall do my best to correspond with you again. Anyone. Anyone who may find or read my works. If I don't make it, I won't have anything to worry about. God is my witness. May she be ever merciful. I leave you as Asher. 16.